Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. We are here for a train tour today of the German map, which is going to be explored, well, by car first and then by train. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button to let me know you'd like to see more of Farming Sim 19. We're going to get started by going right over to where the train is parked at the uh, grain silo nearby. Over at the grain elevator east, we're going to take a beautiful train tour around this whole map. We're in Farming Sim 19, just as previous Farming Sims. You can actually use the train in order to load up all sorts of different cargo, including sugar beets, uh, flatbed uh, pallets and even logs. So let's go ahead and leave the shop. We're going to head over to the Grain Elevator East. In this game, if you click on a uh, target, you can actually click on Tag Place and it'll actually flash on the minimap and then also will uh, create a large uh, like green beacon or something that you can follow to get over there. So we're going to take a nice casual drive in Germany. Again, this is the, uh, the wonderful uh, Felsbrunn uh, map, I believe is how you say it. And it is just a really gorgeous map. I'd recommend driving at about 20 miles an hour too, by the way in this uh, wonderful map in order to get to wherever you're going. We're going to go ahead and, uh, we're going to circle through town, I think, to get down there. There we go. We've got to sort out my drive in a little bit. We're going to go around the roundabout and uh, go on the beautiful train. We're also going to do this for the American map, too. And the cool thing about these two trains is that one in the uh, German map is actually diesel, or rather electric, and the American one is diesel. So you get both diesel and electric trains uh, in the game. So as you can see on some of the tracks, the uh, German trains have the power wires above them as where the American trains just simply have the tracks because the train is powered by a diesel electric engine that creates electrical force uh, pushing it forward. All right, not a lot of traffic here today because they must all be watching Farming Sim 19 videos or they're probably inside playing Farming Sim. That guy looks like he's in a hurry to get home. So we're gonna get in a hurry too to get across the bridge. This map is probably my favorite of both of the maps as well just because there is uh, a lot more space down in the town and there's a lot more to explore. Some of the roads are a real pain, like for example with the guardrails in order to get around uh, some of the locations. If you have a big trailer, it can be a real tight turn, like for example the truck there in a roundabout, a little difficult to get around some of the spaces, but I'm using a uh, mouse and keyboard to control and drive here today, but it is recommended with a controller or a keyboard. Look at that, beautiful, absolutely stunning. We're gonna go ahead and take a look here. I think we should take a right-hand turn there. There we go, and we're going to head up to the grain silo then. I haven't even explored all the maps yet in Farming Sim 19, but I'm really looking forward to seeing all the different little uh, hidden things that will come that we'll discover uh, in a little bit of time. There's the train there, and we're going to go ahead and uh, link up with that. It's at the grain elevator now, as you can see it's highlighted in green. We're just going to take a nice little train tour around here. And again, remember, one of the maps is Germany. The other map is the United States. So absolutely beautiful. I guess we'll try to play a little bit realistically here and try to turn on our signals and uh, try to drive as uh, realistically as we can, I guess, with a mouse and keyboard. But again, it is probably best played with a uh, actual controller. Steering wheels, of course, are nice if you're in a vehicle the whole time, but in Farming Sim, you're going to be getting out and switching vehicles quite often. All right, I think we're in a good spot here to stop and uh, hop onto the train. And uh, the beautiful thing in this game, too, is that trains will automatically run, too. So as you're uh, driving around or out and about in the world, you'll actually see these things coming by. So um, if you are a fan of trains, you'll exact you'll know exactly what this one is or what it's based off. If I can't remember, the, it's I, I think it's a Schenker DB, I believe, but I don't know much more than that. And of course, there's also uh, signals as well for the train, uh, for example, the horn. And so it looks like it's really realistically detailed for it being a railroad. And there you go, even some German language there saying uh, parking is verboten. So let's go ahead and hop into, up into the train and uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, I guess bring her up to speed. So let's go ahead and uh, honk our horn. I think it's one for forward and two for reverse. I don't know what the rules are exactly. But we'll go ahead and get going then. All right, let's roll ahead. We'll go ahead and put her into maybe five or, well, let's go 10 miles per hour. We'll just roll around and take a look at the sights of Farming Sim 19. They've done a really good job uh, in beautifully detailing this map. And I must say that my uh, graphics right now are on like hot, medium high. I've uh, fiddled around with a few things in order to try to make it function a little bit more efficiently for recordings, but I must say it's a lot more beautiful than this when you're uh, setting your graphics to a little higher uh, level. So as you can see around here, we've got uh, just some beautiful buildings and uh, little warehouses and such, and the nice, uh, wow, that's actually a, a little r a re uh, ravine, no, ridge, I guess you could say, on the mountain there. Very gorgeous. A lot of trees here that we can cut down. And we're in no hurry here today. I guess we're uh, kind of a Sunday driver now. We'll kind of pick up the pace a little bit, but again, no hurry in order to get to our destination, which is back where we started. So it is good to know that uh, over here we can actually cut down trees and load them into the train. As I said before, the train is equipped with uh, a few different uh, carriages that you can load up. You can see back there, uh, there's one for grain, one for there's an open top, one for beets, and there that uh, yellow car in the back is perfect for logs. So you can actually park here on the train line 
and load it up and bring it right back to the sawmill if you wanted to. Look at that, folks. Absolutely beautiful. That is amazing. Too bad we can't switch seats, but take a look at that left side. Wonderful little uh, river there, and I think there's even a castle on this map somewhere. Oh, yes, we can see it off in the distance. If you look real close, just right at the power line, you can actually see the castle there. <laughs> it looks like it's floating a little bit. I'll have to set my render and view distance up a little better. But what I really like is look at how nicely detailed it is just next to the train. You see all the varieties of different types of plants and uh, brush and trees. And uh, off in the distance, of course, you can even see the rolling mountains. And this train line is uh, no joke. I, I believe it kind of seems to combine a little bit of Switzerland, Germany, and Austria together in one map. It's almost like a diorama of, uh, of really like German landscape than anything else. And uh, it's a shame we can't actually get up and walk around and look at the, uh, out the window a little bit more of the train. But look at that. Absolutely stunning images of Farming Sim 19. That is beautiful. If you're a train fan, this is definitely something you can do in the game as well, driving the train around for your friends. Same as if you're a logger or if you want to haul things with the truck. There's plenty to do in Farming Sim for sure. Absolutely stunning. The bridge actually has detail on the brick as well. And uh, has a little bit of uh, grime and rust coming off of uh, some of it. That is beautiful. Lots of roundabouts in the German map, too, and a uh, very cool switchback. I think I'll uh, go in this camera so we can see a little bit more to the left. Down there, again, another forest. This is very good for logging, and that uh, area there that switches back up and down is uh, really treacherous for getting up the hills. And in fact, the lumber mill is at the top of this hill here, so the train is probably the best way to uh, load up logs and get them up there. And in fact, I think you can pick them out from the, lo uh, from the sawmill. I think uh, it actually goes through here. Pretty detailed console here. I wonder if, uh, if we speed up or slow down, if it actually... Uh, oh, actually, it does have the time on it. As you see in the upper right corner, it is 8.08 uh, a.m., and it actually says that on the train, too. I don't see any changes to speed or anything being indicated. I'm trying to accelerate or slow down and see if anything moves, but it seems like it just simulates the time, and that's it, which is a little unfortunate. This is definitely a much older train, much, much older train than uh, I, I would think. Uh, I thought it would be a little bit more uh, controlled with... Uh, with the lever, uh, with electronic levers rather than actual mechanical switches or analog. Uh, here's a nice little cotton plantation there next to that, uh, what seems to be a house. Maybe it's a bar or a restaurant there. And again, we're continuing to go up into the mountains. This is what I really like to see up close is these just stunning images of the train passing through. And again, it's really very much like a diorama. And there's the, uh, oh wow, the very nicely detailed bushes and everything. Just looks great. We're going to slow down a little bit. We're going to pick up speed now that we're on flat land again. Just a very beautiful, uh, relaxing ride. Do it sometime yourself, too. If you get Farming Simulator 19, which you definitely should, take a little time to uh, just take a little drive around the map, both the American map and the German map in your trains, and uh, just take a look at everything. It's, it's free to use as well, so it's uh, like free transportation uh, getting from one point to the other. And I think, I believe the American map has a flatbed, that I don't know if you could load vehicles on, but it would definitely be a welcome sight uh, to be able to actually load vehicles onto this train. As you can see here, perfect spot for uh, loading of uh, or unloading of logs. In fact, the lumber mill is right there up, up there to the left, so this is perfect uh, to unload logs, I think. You might be able to reach down with a crane, load it onto a truck, and then bring it across the river. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And, of course, more of the... Uh, oh, it is perfectly the sawmill down there. Lumber mill, sawmill. Beautiful. And you can see where you can transport wood chips as well. So in the previous games, they actually had to... And you can do it here as well. Uh, but in the previous games, you had a crane that was right over the train, which I thought was really nice. It's unfortunate it's not here because it was really great to be able to pull the train into a sawmill and do it that way. Here, you'll just have to require some other equipment. So even though you can transport it up the hill... With little effort, you'll still have to take it out of the train. And there's a lot of trees here that you can cut down. All these pine that are to the left are the perfect trains for doing that. I think we'll uh, pick up the pace just a little bit here. And we'll go ahead and see what's down the hill. Again, beautifully, uh, nice, nicely just detailed interior. And uh, it's pretty grimy and gross. And it actually is pretty realistic for what you would have on perhaps a local train line uh, that was doing some more industrial work rather than anything else. The skybox off in the distance, real blue. Oh, wow, it actually, as you zoom out, it becomes a little less blurry and looks much more realistic. I do like the fact that it's uh, not just a uh, skybox, but it, it looks like a uh, ocean or a river or a lake between us and, like, another town. So that's really cool as we pass now down be uh, below this uh, ravine and a uh, wow, little valley here. Just beautiful. All little trees and shrubs around as well as uh, bushes. 
And in this game, too, if you drive over bushes, they kind of snap back into position. So the world feels a lot more alive than any previous farming sim games. And I think logging is a little bit easier as well. Some players were saying that they were frustrated by the logging, but I feel like that's uh, a much easier thing. And I think you'll be using the train most if you're cutting down trees and trying to do logging. And also if you're using potatoes or uh, sugar beets in order to load them into the back. Those are really the two best items. And you know what actually would be nice too is if it, if it has a fuel car on it, I don't know if it does or not, but to actually be able to fuel up your vehicles out on the uh, out on the uh, the field rather than driving back, if you're close to the train, that is. No tunnels here, unfortunately. Lots of great bridges, though, and that's what, of course, you get best with Germany, as it's more of an alpine kind of uh, territory. And, of course, this could be Switzerland, it could be Austria. They all speak German. Any German-speaking nation in Europe is definitely uh, a welcome sight here. It's, again, beautiful trains and uh, picturesque routes, scenic routes. Uh, that just really bring the, the world to life. Now that I notice this is actually my first time driving down here, I'm noticing a lot of trees next to the rail line. So this is the perfect place uh, to bring some of your vehicles back over here by the harbor. You can actually see right over there. Woo! Getting a little uh, lag there. What's going on here? Woo! Wow, that is a uh, first for farming Sim 17. Seems like if the camera perhaps gets stuck behind a... Uh, the camera gets stuck behind some sort of an object it has difficulty that was very strange I've never seen that before uh, or perhaps maybe once actually but it seems like it got stuck behind an object and was having trouble processing but hopefully that's just a one-time thing but again very beautiful see seeing the train come down here as we zoom into it almost looks like it's coming at us as we now go under another bridge very nice that it switches back to go underneath uh, some of the uh, roadway that runs in and out of town and we're at yet another uh, grain elevator. Uh, let's see what we are at now. Uh, I believe this is the... Oh, it's the Railroad Silo East. So we've already passed the Grain Elevator East, the Sawmill, and the Railroad Silo East. We should blow our horn. I don't know what the German rules are, but at least we'll do something in order to indicate. Uh, the tracks here, a lot of grass. I'd like to see a little bit more gravel in order to make that look a little more realistic. And that port down there is an area we can go to. It's the biogas plant down there as well as the port northeast. Or sorry, Northwest and a lime station up there. I didn't think there was actually a port that you could visit before in the game, but there is. And I believe that is a sell point too. So not only will you be working at the port for your uh, silage and such, but also for dropping out certain goods. Very nice. Unfortunate that the train does not run through there too. That'd be a very nice thing for it to have a few more options in order to go through. And there's signal there as we push through. I don't think we can switch tracks either. Um, I believe I remember some Farming Sim 17 maps having multiple trains that ran in either direct, uh, different directions or parallel directions. But uh, in this case, it is going to just be, I think, the one direction. Let's pick up pace a little bit. And we're over a bridge now where a road seems to pass under. That's very beautiful. Amazing that you get so much detail in a uh, farming simulator game where we're driving a train. And it almost seems like a train driving game, doesn't it? Uh, you got your uh, canola, f or actually that's a cornfield I think over there. And uh, road off to your other side. Beautiful, look at how gorgeous that is. Very, very gorgeous. And of course we can select different cars. I wonder if we can detach. It looks like detaching is not allowed. Or perhaps if we come to a complete stop. Better honk back. I'm going to actually come to a complete stop and see if we can actually perhaps dr uh, drop some of these cars. Perhaps pick them up in a different sense or something. Oh wow, wouldn't that be amazing if you could actually switch tracks? I don't, I don't know if you can, but it would be so cool if you could actually uh, pick up different cars. It would be nice if some of these switches had like, for example, nothing but a rail car uh, full of, uh, for example, something for logging. That'd be very nice. We're gonna try to get just enough ahead so that gate opens there so those cars can go through. See if we can come to a stop here. I'm just waiting to see if those cars can pass through. Look at that, even a concrete mixer in the traffic stops at the crossing. That's very cool. All right, they should be able to go through as soon as we get all the way into the station here. There they go. They seem to be going now, or at least disappearing, despawning. Oh, here's another station here. Let's pull up to this side. I just want to see what happens. So it did say disconnecting was not allowed, and I did not know we could actually select. If you see in the upper left corner, it does appear that we can select different types of... Uh, vehicles and such. Look at it again. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Well, let's try to come to a full stop. There we go. 
All right, the vehicle has become... Oh, I thought it was going to start moving again. Has come to a full stop. Detaching tool is not allowed in this state. So that... We are, we are not moving. So it may possibly be allowed, perhaps, if we're at a certain area. Let's go ahead and proceed forward then. Very interested to know whether or not we're allowed to uh, detach. But it would be a very cool thing if you could modify your train cars a bit more. That's wishful thinking, I think, for a... Uh, for a uh, sim game of farming. There's not too often that a farmer works directly with the railroad, aside from delivering it to the silo, which then is later loaded onto the train. So uh, for a tractor or implement to come up here and directly offload onto the train is almost unheard of when they just pull up underneath. Uh, and we're talking hundreds of cars of, like, grain, for example. Very beautiful uh, canal over there, or river, with uh, boat traffic there. You can see a barge and... Uh, Perhaps a yacht of some sort. Is that a paddle boat, maybe? No? Looks like a yacht. And another boat off into the distance. And another spot here that seemingly is just non-existent for... Uh, that doesn't look like we can do any business there, but it is connected to the railroad. At least another loading point if you were working uh, somewhere around here in a field. Now let's go back into the car, into the train. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll have to tip my graphics up a little bit more, but I think uh, this is really astounding for what I want. I don't think I have it set up perfectly yet, but there's another forest there that we can utilize. Again, remember, the longer and taller and straighter the tree, the better. So it would probably be the best thing to load these onto the back of the train in order to uh, haul them a short distance to the sawmill without having to go through town. And we'll save you a little bit of money, too. If you actually borrow the train uh, and you only have, for example, a uh, maybe a, a front loader and a uh, like a Scorpion King or something like that, you can definitely use it without having to buy the truck and trailer, which will save you money. You just need to make sure you haul it to the train. Now we're passing through the uh, train station mill, and now we're going to pass around the town. Um, I think I've seen this area quite a bit. Oh, yeah, right here especially. Uh, by, uh, I think we were dropping off a lot of uh, sugar beet over here, me and Riley, during one of our live streams. So, again, if you're new here, make sure you click or tap that like button to let me know you like the trains. We'd like to see more. And, of course, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome to all of you. It's been a fantastic experience so far. This is my first time going through the town. Uh, with the train now, so let's see exactly uh, where she goes. And I think this is just the perfect speed to kind of crawl through as we're near a lot of industrial traffic and inside the town. I, I don't think uh, a train would be allowed to go much faster than maybe 20 in these types of uh, areas. Probably even less, especially with all the junctions around and uh, railroad crossings into the traffic. Lots of nice detail here. You see tanks and uh, uh, winches and of course, the wires up, 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 up top and the fencing and the, like there's uh, chairs and things in the backyard. There I see a pallet uh, jack and a few other things. Very cool. Oh, maybe we're only allowed to go 10 kilometers here. Maybe that's what that means. I'm not sure exactly what the, uh, what the, uh, they are, but uh, Hauptbahnhof, which I believe is railway station for German. Very cool. And instead of DB, it's BB. I don't know what these exactly mean per se, but... Uh, that seemed to indicate horn, but there's no crossing here. I think that's what the H means, but maybe not. There's that roundabout that we went through right past the shop. That is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And more trees here, too. This German map has just an immense amount of trees. And once you buy the land in Farming Sim uh, 19, you're also permitted... Wow, I did not see that bridge before. That is amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. I've never seen that before. Yeah, pay, see, you pay, you pay money for a game like this, and if you don't look around, you're going to miss everything. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I don't remember what I was going to say now. It's taken away by that bridge. It actually uh, looks like... Actually, a lot of co bridges commonly look like that now, with the large concrete pillars that are shaped in an A, and then suspension uh, cables coming down from either side. And it is unfortunate. I don't think we can... Oh, there is a port here, too. I was going to say there's no port here, but yes, port in the southeast and a port in the northwest. The American map just seems to be lacking some of that. I think the I think the devs might have a favorite, but I do too. It's definitely this map for its rail rate so far. Would be cool if you could modify the train. I'd love to see some mods to uh, have some old steam engines on here or just different types of trains in general. For all of you who are uh, big train spotters, of course, you'll know exactly which each one of these trains are. So make sure you comment down below on what exact um, train you think it is or, well, what you know it is or at least what it's modeled after. And again, a beautiful... Uh, Beautiful waterfall there, just by the port, and yet another bridge. So, unfortunately, no tunnels. I'm assuming the reason there's no tunnels is just because if something got caught in the tunnel, it might glitch out the game if you hit it. 
and knock it into the mountain or something along those lines. But there is a tunnel up there where the train line would leave the town. We just have no control over it, unfortunately. So let's bring her back to a stop and uh, see if we can come to a full stop here by the uh, station. I guess we may as well, like, blow the horn as if we're pulling in. And I'd really like to know if there's any way to disconnect this train. Again, it seems very strange that we're permitted to uh, select each car. But if we press the detach, it says not in this state. Oh, and the last car is a flatbed. So there is a, um, it looks from front to back, it's a, a grain car that you can load up in. And let's take a look at everything here on the train. So it appears to be a grain car that I think you can load from here, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. I, I think you can load it from here. Or actually, maybe it can unload. Actually, I think you load the train there, and then you, you actually unload it down here. Interesting for the Germans to use two-inch tread guard shoes. And then, of course, this is for your uh, sugar beets or potatoes. This is for logs. Oh, oh, actually, this is for sugar beets here, which actually looks like carrots. And then a flatbed here for perhaps transporting uh, a tractor of some sort. That is a very long car. That is very, very long. Let's see if we can actually hop up here. I'm just curious to see if there's anywhere to load anything. It looks like the cantilevers here are not... Oh, there we go. And, uh, yeah, so we can load logs here. Doesn't look like this one actually has anything. Maybe it's just for looks. Not exactly sure. And then, of course, uh, the, the first two are functional for... Uh, well, this one definitely sugar beets and, of course... Uh, uh, actually, maybe you could unload anything into it. I don't know if it uh, limits you from doing any of that, but definitely beautiful. I'd really like to see this in work. I've never used it before for grain. We have used it before for sugar beets, and I think we're going to do that in a future video as well. But anyway, that is my time here today, folks. If you thought this was beautiful like I did, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that like button. I love the trains in here. That is definitely a welcome sight to see a different uh, type of train here. So anyway, I'm going to hit the uh, road. I'm going to see you guys next time. Thanks again. I'll see you for the American map coming up soon. So if you haven't already, again, make sure you subscribe so you can see that. And uh, just a general welcome to all of you. And I hope you enjoy the game. Hope you enjoyed the tour. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. See you soon.